morning, Victory fam. I hope you're having a great time right now. By the way, my name is Francis, one of the pastors of Victory. And we just want to welcome you in our online worship experience. By the way, if it's your first time to join us, Victory exists for two reasons. It's to honor God and make disciples. So as we start today, why don't you write down in the chat box, okay, 97. Okay, ano ba yung 97 na yan? Because from today, it's already 97 days na lang before Christmas. Imagine that ang bilis nung panahon, di ba? Kumbaga, malapit na natin matapos tong um, taon na to. And as we talk about it, parang with all these things happening, di ba? more than a year na nangyayari tong pandemic natin. But I believe that Christmas is something to look forward to pa rin. And yun yung last series natin na pinag-usapan, yung ating future hope. There is always something to look forward to, especially when we have an amazing and an awesome God. But for today, I'm just excited because today is our series break. And we will talk about kung last series, future hope, ngayon, present hope. Or yung sinasabi natin, we want to find hope in the present. So I hope that you guys are excited for that. But before we start, uh, I just want to give an announcement. Some announcements. First is all in one, okay? Um, Lenny already mentioned this last week that we have an all in one link already because dati marami tayo mga mini memorize na, na mga links when it comes to connect, prayer, giving. But right now, it's all consolidated in one link, which is link tree or link. Uh, link tr.ee slash victory las pinas yan you could probably see that already in your screen and mamaya yeah, you can check it out dito makikita natin yung mga social media links na ng victory las pinas if you want to connect with us in facebook instagram um spotify and actually soon we'll also have our very own tiktok okay pero hindi tayo sasayaw doon, okay? Hopefully, hindi kami sumayaw doon. Ganyan. But I'm just excited for that. Also, you can see there are church schedules. As we talk about church schedules, makikita, alam natin that our schedules for our services are 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. on a Sunday. Of course, the 10 a.m. is a live service. Also, you will see there yung upcoming events natin. Um, next month, we'll have an upcoming event which or a class which is our foundation for Victory Online. This is a class kung saan natin mauunawaan or for our foundations to be grounded in the Word of God, for us to love the Word of God more. So if you want to join us, you can actually register also through that link. Just go to the event registration. That's our ating link tree. All right, some of the links that we have there is that if you want to be part of a Victory group, you can join in as well. Victory group is a place or is a part of our community where we grow in our relationship with God through our relationship with our friends in church. So if you're not connected in church and you want to grow in your relationship with God, we hope that you can join our victory groups. Also, if you need any prayer requests, again, we are always uh, excited to pray for you. You can go to that link as well. Just click prayer requests. Of course, today, Jan, siguro sa, sa, if you're joining us in Facebook, there's going to be something na magpa-pop up Jan, uh, from time to time that will ask you if you need any prayers. We hope that you would um, write your prayer request there because later, after the preaching of the word, we will uh, give time to pray for those prayer requests of yours. But if you're joining us from um, YouTube, gayan, walang magpa-pop up Jan, but you can go to that prayer link in our link tree. Okay? And also, after the service, okay? Tandaan nyo to after the service, if you want someone to pray for you virtually, we will be opening our Zoom prayer room later, okay? Uh, of course, we're going to do that after the 10 a.m. service, after the 3 p.m. service, and also after the uh, 8 p.m. service. There will be people ready to pray for you. And of course, one of the links na usually na minimension natin is also our giving. Okay, so if you want to know how to give online, you can go to that link as well in our link tree that at uh, link tree slash victory slash pinas. Okay, so right now before we go to our giving, we're going to have an update from Every Nation 
uh, campus. And I hope that you get encouraged with this because last week we had an amazing time with our campus leaders and, uh, and students, student leaders. We hope that you get encouraged because I believe that God or the future of this nation rests upon the next generation. So after that video, we will also proceed with our giving. So let's watch these videos. The pandemic brought about a lot of challenges for our students. For many of them, it's taken a toll on their well-being. With rising fear and uncertainty about the future, we know they need the message of hope in the gospel and a loving community more than ever. This is why last week, we gathered over 3,000 Victory Group leaders and interns all across the nation for our Leaders Conference 2021. This was indeed an unforgettable event thanks to technology. In the conference, we learned more about the reality of God's kingdom here on earth and our part to play in reaching every generation and every campus with the gospel. The kingdom of God that God is bringing enables us to endure with His presence, experience His supernatural power, and fulfill the eternal purpose. The main highlight of this event is that there weren't any spectators. We were all one in worshiping our awesome God. It may have been held online, but the same Holy Spirit moved just as He did in our face-to-face -face conferences in the past. While we may be scattered across the nation, we felt our sense of community grow stronger. We saw how God was speaking to each of the students through our live comment section. New friendships and connections were built through our Facebook community group, Discord hangouts, games, Zoom breakout sessions, and definitely the meaningful conversations with one another. Through our sessions, we were reminded of our identity as sons and daughters of God, the importance of being part of a multi-generational community, how God cares for our mental and emotional health, and how the Holy Spirit empowers us to be effective witnesses for Christ. With all the struggles that we're battling, how? The key is found in verse 8. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses. We experienced God's presence, power, and love permeating our screens and into the hearts of our student leaders, interns, and future campus missionaries who attended the conference. Ultimately, we cast the vision that despite the brokenness and pain in this world, God has a plan for our nation. And we can see that realized as we make disciples on campus, preaching the gospel to one student at a time. Thank you for continuously sowing and investing in the lives of the next generation. Your partnership helps us disciple, equip, and empower our students to find and live out their purpose in God. Together, we will press on to change the campus and change the world. I want to encourage all of us today. It says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 21, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Jesus drew the conclusion that you can only have your treasure and your heart in one place. We can't store up treasure on earth and on heaven at the same time. An earthly-minded man proves that his treasure is below. A heavenly-minded man shows that his treasure is above. Those who set their hearts on material things are being disloyal to God and guarantee bitter disappointment for themselves in the end. If God be the treasure of our souls, our hearts, our affections and desires will be placed on things above. People who come into the kingdom of God should not view the material things of earthly life as others view them. We should put God's interests first and be generous in giving to others. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, the human heart may be an idol factory a place where we sometimes keep what you want us to let go of. But would you, by your grace, set our hearts on things above, that we may learn how to return what is yours, and that we may joyfully give without any regrets. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 
Thank you, Lenny, for exhorting us in giving. By the way, just a few reminders, our on-site giving is open as well. We are open to receive your offerings every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Also, if you are giving directly, depositing sa banko, if you are giving, except sa Union Bank, okay? If you're directly depositing in Union Bank, you have no problem. But if you're directly depositing your tithes and offerings in any other branches, uh, we, we would appreciate it if you would contact us so that we can give you further instructions. All right, so with that, let's open with a word of prayer as we start our worship experience. Lord, thank you, Lord God, for this time. Lord God, salamat Panginoon that your steadfast love endures forever, that you are a king, that you are a God that never changed. So right now, Lord God, we fix our eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith. May you be honored by our worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. deserves our praise, our thanksgiving. He is worthy of it all. Your steadfast love endures forever. Your promise never fails. Your glory reaches past the heavens. Your faithfulness through the clouds. Oh, even in the darkest days, your name stays on us. Oh, even then the sun still shines. You are the horizon where we find our hope. Your love is like the ocean with the dead unknown. There's no one who can comprehend every drop of your goodness. We fix our eyes on you. You are the horizon. Together, creation is found in you. The hands that set the world in motion forever will be a rescue. Every drop 
It's enough for me, God. It has always been. It will always be. Your love is enough for me. Your love is enough for me, God. It has always been. It will always be. Your love is enough for me. Your love is enough for me, God. It is always been. It will always be. Your love is enough for me. Your love is enough for me, 
find rest in you as you are the only one who completes our soul who can satisfy our soul and right now you may be feeling so tired right now telling God or asking God God where are you and you up my Lord He is at work in you. He is doing something new. And He's telling us right now, do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. For I am with you. I am here to defend you. I am here to save you. Why do we say this? And continue to declare, God, what to do, but my eyes are on you. Come on, we say it. Say it again. God, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. As we sing this song, let this be a declaration. We will sing this with confidence, declaring that He is able to deliver us from wherever we are right now. i 
sing, God, I need you. God, I need you, so I wait right here. an awesome God. Amen. In Him, we have the victory. In the Lord, we will overcome. Praise God. Join me in a word of prayer. Father, we lift our eyes to You. Who do we have in heaven but You? Lord, whatever challenges that we are facing, whatever difficult situation that we are in, Lord, we believe that You are God, that You are able, Lord God, you are able to do what you have promised. Our eyes are on you. And Lord, we declare, we believe in you. Lord, our hearts are turned to you. We give you glory, Father. We praise you, Lord. And Lord, our prayer is that you're going to speak to us today. Speak to our hearts, Lord, your words that give us courage. Your words, Lord, that even heal our hearts. Your words that give us strength. Lord, thank you. We commit this time unto you. Holy Spirit, we give you glory. Speak your people. Thank you, Lord. And this we pray 
in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's give God praise right there where you are at, dyan po sa inyong bahay. Give God praise. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Praise God. God is good. The Lord is good. Again po, um, welcome to Victory Las Piñas, our uh, online services. And um, we are hoping na magkaroon ng, uh, very soon, no? magkaroon tayo ng mga on-site services ulit dito sa Village Square. By the way, ako si Pastor Rain. I'm one of the pastors here in Victory Las Piñas. And it is an honor and a privilege for me to preach God's Word to us today. And um, katulad nga sinabi ni Pastor Francis, we just concluded yung series natin ng Future Hope. But we still would like to talk about hope. We still would like to continue that topic of anchoring our hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so today, sa series break, ang title po natin is Finding Hope in the Present. You see, napaka-importante po for us to remain hopeful in the midst of everything that's happening around us. You see, it's important to be hopeful every day. It's important to be hopeful with whatever that would come our way. We don't know what the day would hold, but we know who holds our day. Diba? And so we can be hopeful. Let's fix our hope in the Lord. Pero alam mo, at alam natin, sa katotohanan naman, um, may mga concerns, no? may mga issues, may mga nangyayari sa paligid natin na talagang sometimes nararamdaman natin parang mawawalan tayo ng hope or sometimes nagkakaroon tayo ng anxiety, nagkakaroon tayo ng worries and fear. Sometimes when we face difficult situations, sometimes when we face overwhelming challenges or if we're surrounded by things that make us afraid, so we feel fear. You know, um, when was the last time you felt afraid? When was the last time you felt fear? No? Um, do you sometimes feel afraid? Ako, sometimes I feel afraid. Sometimes wapasok yung feeling na yan, parang, Lord, sabi nga, nung, sabi nga ni Lynn, hanggang kailan matatapos to? Yung nangyayari sa paligid namin. And sometimes, parang malayo siya, pero minsan napakalapit na. At nagkakaroon tayo ng konting kaba, natatakot tayo. We're surrounded by things around us uh, that, 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 that would give us fear. Um, Delta variant is still there. We are still in the midst of the pandemic. And um, our hospitals are still full. Kahapon po, nagkaroon kami ng prayer, nagkaroon tayo ng prayer drive, no? And so we, we have our online team praying with us and we have our on-site team uh, going to different locations. Isa sa location na pinuntahan po natin sa prayer drive is yung uh, Las Piñas Medical Hospital. And there's a sign outside that hospital that says, full capacity or max capacity for covid and those are things that really get us down. Those are the things that really uh, burden our hearts and cause our hearts to have that concern and worry. Sometimes fear. And sometimes parang, Lord, hope namin na matapos na ito. No? And so, well, we have health concerns and we also have, ano, mga, uh, kung ikaw naman ay entrepreneur, ikaw ay businessman, so, ikaw rin nag-hope, Lord, matapos na sana ito, makastart na rin kami, mag-restart na kami ng business namin. Or if you are an employee, and you are also asking the Lord, you are also hoping. So, these are the concerns that uh, scare us, concerns that make us afraid, concerns that uh, para bang gustong nakawin yung hope na meron tayo. No? And there's, it seems like there's bad news everywhere, and nagpe-pray tayo, Lord, wala bang good news? Wala bang positive uh, news? That's why it's important for Christians to really, for us Christians, as uh, sons and daughters of God, to really spend time in the Word. For us to spend time reading the Word of God. For us to spend time in communicating with God, spending time with God. Because it's only the Word of God that would give us courage. It is only through the Word of God that we have faith. Faith comes from hearing and hearing the Word of God. I pray today when we speak about the Word of God, when we talk about God's Word, God will stir up faith upon our hearts. We need hope every single day. And our world tries to fill our hearts with, with fear. There's this account in the Bible. His name is King Jehoshaphat. The situation that they are in was there was these three armies that are about to invade Jerusalem. And he was afraid. Samahan niyo po ako. 
Tingnan po natin itong account na to sa Bible. And allow the Lord to speak to our hearts today. We will be reading from 2 Chronicles chapter 20, 1 to 9, and then we will jump to verse 12. And we are praying that in this particular time, that God would minister to us and allow us to find hope in the present. So join me, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 1 to 9, and then we will jump to verse 12. Verse 1, after this, the Moabites and the Ammonites, and with them some of the Meunites, came against Jehoshaphat for battle. Some men came and told Jehoshaphat, great multitude, a great multitude is coming against you from Edom, from beyond the sea and beyond, and behold, they are in, in Hazazon Tamar, that is En Gedi. Verse 3, then Jehoshaphat was afraid. He was afraid and he was filled with fear. And he set his face to seek the Lord and to proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah assembled. Parang Avengers assembled lang, no? Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. And from all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. Verse 6, and said, O Lord, God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? You rule all the kingdoms and the kingdoms of the nations. In your hand are power and might, so none is able to withstand you. Did you not, our God, drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to your descendants, gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? And they live in it and they built for you a sanctuary for your name, saying, verse 9, if disaster comes upon us, the sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, for your name is in this house. And cry out to you in our affliction, and you will hear, and you will save. Verse 12, O our God, will you not execute judgment on them? For we are powerless against this great horde that is coming against us. We don't, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, once more we declare... That, Lord, apart from you, we can do nothing. We proclaim and we declare, Lord, that our eyes are on you. Lord, thank you. Speak to us, Lord. And we give you the glory. Bless the preaching of your word. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Grabe yung account na yon. Ikaw si Jehoshaphat. Kasama mo, nandun ka sa city ng Judah. And this vast, great Mighty kingdoms and armies are going to attack you. He felt so afraid. So my question is, when was the last time you felt afraid? Do you remember? When was the last time when you felt powerless? Wala kang magagawa laban dito. When was the last time you heard a negative report? A bad report. The day started as an ordinary day. It's an ordinary, beautiful day. But during that time, a bad report came, which caused your heart to fear. Natatandaan mo ba yon? Yung sitwasyon na yon? Do you remember that sinking feeling when, when you heard, what you, what you heard that negative report? I remember the time, kwento lang, uh, remember the time, um, January 2013. So it was an ordinary day. I was in the office and I felt a pain in my stomach. Akala ko, hyperacidic lang ako because all throughout my college life, I was hyperacidic and I would just take, you know, mga, uh, uh, you know, antacid. So I was at work and I was feeling that. So I was parang ignoring it until I called for, I called for the company doctor. And then he gave me medicines, made me rest for a while. After several hours, walang relief. Anong nangyayari? And uh, the doctor says, okay, another medicine, a stronger medicine. If this does not work, I'll have to bring you to the hospital. 
And so I don't, ako hindi ko alam nangyayari sa akin. Cut the long story short, I had to be rushed to the hospital. And really, that report came. So when they, they, when they checked me, they said, we need to do an operation. We need to uh, remove your gallbladder. When I heard that report, wala sa radar ko yan. Hindi ko yan expect I didn't see that coming. But you see, that report came parang, oh no. Lord, I am powerless to do anything about this. And I don't know what to do. And so that sinking feeling, that fear. But yet, of course, fast forward, the Lord is faithful. He saw me through. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. But the same, yung sitwasyon na yon, wala yon kumpira sa sitwasyon ni Jehoshaphat. Armies are about to invade. Let's look at again uh, verse 1. It says, After this, the Moabites and the Amorites, together with some Mennonites, came against Jehoshaphat for battle. It's important, the purpose is for battle. Hindi ito courtesy call, hindi ito dumadalaw lang. Halika, dalawin natin si Jehoshaphat. Hindi, they're there for battle. They're there to annihilate Judah and all its inhabitants. Three armies coming together. So, uh, verse 2, some men came and told Jehoshaphat, a great multitude is coming against you from Edom, from beyond the sea, and behold, they are in Hazazon Tamar. That is En Gedi. Behold, they are in Hazazon Tamar. That is En Gedi. Ibig sabihin, ang lapit na. Nanja na. These three armies came to wage war. Unprovoked. Jehoshaphat did not see this coming. Probably he started the day. It's a beautiful day. It's a wonderful day. And then the bad news came. They're about to be invaded by this three armies. Verse 2, ang, 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 the thing that I want to point out here is that they are in Engedi. Bakit po? Kasi this vast multitude, these three uh, kingdoms, they took a route na hindi sila makikita, hindi sila madidetect. Madidetect lang sila pag malapit na. In fact, Engedi is 36 miles away. Only 36 miles away from Judah. Doon nakita, doon na-detect, doon binigay yung report. Jehoshaphat, nandiyan na yung vast army. It's one day's journey. They're about to attack. No time to prepare. They're all surprised. They didn't see it coming. It was a surprise attack on the people of the Lord. Verse 3. That's why Jehoshaphat was afraid. He set his face to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judah. He was afraid, worried, fearful. Dapat lang. Krabe, nandiyan And he proclaimed a fast to seek the Lord. What do you do when you are afraid? What do we do when we receive bad news? About our jobs, about our businesses, about our loved ones. What do we do? Jehoshaphat sought the Lord. He went to God, sought God, proclaimed a fast. By the way, this is the first recorded fast, general fast, through a royal proclamation. The king proclaimed a fast. That's why all of Judea came to seek the Lord. Verse 4, And Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. From all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. Everyone, verse 4, everyone came to seek the Lord. A reference on verse 13 would say, or would show us, kasama ang mga bata. Every single one, men, women, children, students, professionals, old, senior citizens, PW, they all came. Everyone came as a community. They gathered together in the house of the Lord and to pray. Alam mo, tayo kahit online or kahit na, uh, on-site or online, the important thing is that we come together. 
Because when we come together as a church community, when we come together as a spiritual family, just like here in the time of uh, 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 Jehoshaphat, God listened and God answered their prayers. There is power in agreement. There is power in unity. There is power when the people of the Lord would come together in prayer. Looking at the verse, it says, Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah, of Judah stood before the house of the Lord. Whose house? The house of the Lord. And we know from Scripture, even Jesus quoted this, that my house will be called a house of prayer. For in the house of the Lord, prayers will be mentioned. In the house of the Lord, the presence of God will be felt. In the house of the Lord, the prayers of the people of God will be heard. That's why I want to encourage you, my friends, when we would have that opportunity to come together as a community, as a spiritual family, to, to, to pray. Please take time. Sama tayo. What happened here? They all took time to seek the Lord. They all took time to pray. They took time, men, women, children, students, professionals. They prayed. Ano yung prayer ni Jehoshaphat? Ano yung prayer ng city of, of Judah? Let's look at verse 6. Ito ang prayer nila. Sabi niya, O Lord, God of our fathers, are you not the God in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. In your hand are power and might so that none is able to withstand you. In verse 6, they declare the Jehoshaphat who God is. He is the almighty God. He is the God who created the heavens and the earth. He is Yahweh, the faithful God, the promise-making, promise-keeping God. He called upon the name of the Lord. Interestingly also, if you look at your scripture, yung verse na yan, O Lord, God of our fathers, the, the, the word Lord is capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. That means that's the covenant name of God. That is Yahweh. So, the, uh, Jehoshaphat was calling out the covenant name of God. O Lord, our God. It means we have a covenant relationship with you. You are our God. We are your people. Now, what is that agreement? What is that covenant? In verse 9, it says this. In, in it, a sanctuary for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, the sword, judgment, pestilence, famine, we will stand before this house and before you. For your name is in this house and cry out to you in our affliction. And you will hear and you will save. Ang covenant ni Lord sa kanyang mga anak ay ganito. Pag may problema, pag meron kailangan, tatawag kayo, you will call upon God, not any other gods, but you will call upon Yahweh. And I will hear you and I will save you. The Lord is faithful. Amen? The Lord is faithful. My friends, sinabi ni Pastor Francis Karina, if you have any prayer requests, please type it dyan sa chat box or dyan sa, sa, sa ano natin para makita po natin yung prayer requests. And before the service ends, we will be praying for those prayer requests. Okay? Alright. The prayer was calling upon the Lord. Their de His declaration, our declaration on, the, or, or, on our dependence on God. Let's take a look at 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 12. And this is the declaration. He says, For we are powerless against this great horde that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. When was the last time you felt powerless? When was the last time you felt you don't know what to do? Or oh, there's nothing that you can do? It's very important whenever we find ourselves in this place, in this situation, that we will fix our eyes on the Lord. They said, we are powerless and we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Panginoon, wala akong kapangyarihan, 
wala akong kalakasan, wala akong abilidad para baguhin itong sitwasyon na aking hinaharap. Pero sa iyo ako nakatingin, sa iyo ako nagtitiwala kasi sa iyo ako, Panginoon, nakadepende. With you, Lord God, all things are possible. Are you facing a difficult situation right now? Then hear the word of God. Let's put our trust in the Lord. The Lord hears and the Lord will answer our prayers. Let's fix our eyes on the Lord. The psalmist in Psalm 121 verse 1 and 2 says, I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and of earth. Balik tayo sa story. Lord, our eyes are on you. Sabi ni Jehoshaphat, ano ang sagot ni Lord? Verse uh, 16 and 17. Behold, they will come up by the ascent of Zis, and you will find them at the end of the river valley in front of the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not, verse 17, you will not need to fight this battle. Stand firm, hold your positions. And see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them. And the Lord will be with you. I'm going to camp here for a while. Did you know that that word, do not be afraid, and I am with you, is a promise that has been repeated, that repeated itself in the Bible for 366 times. Pag binilang mo, 366 times, sinabi nito ni Lord, do not be afraid. I will be with you. How many days in the year do we have? 365. <laughs> Pag leap year, do be extra pa. 366 times God is saying to us, do not be afraid. I am with you on a Monday, on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm with you January, February. I'm with you every single day because I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Amen. Kasama natin si Lord. At ang sinabi niya, the battle is the Lord's. Sagot kita. Sagot kita. I have no strength on my own, Lord. I don't have cap the capability, the ability to change my situation. But Lord, I believe in you because with you, all things are possible. My eyes are on you. But the Lord commanded His people. He says, take up your position. March down, take up your position, stand and see the salvation of the Lord. You see, we need to move in faith. Move in that faith. Take up our position. Let's go face the challenges of life because the Lord is with us. It is often during a great crisis that we come to experience the greatness of our God. In the great crisis, in the midst of the battle, while facing our giants, when we're thrown in the lion's den, when we are thrown in the fiery furnace like Shedrach, Meshach, Abednego, in the midst of the battle, that is where we experience the greatness of our God. Amen. The Lord will not leave us. The Lord will not forsake us. His name will be glorified. Come on, let's give God praise. The Lord will glorify His name in our lives. We just have to stand and see the salvation of the Lord. Let's look at the response. When that word came, you, will don't, you don't have to fight this battle. I am with you. When that word came, Jehoshaphat responded in verse 20, uh, 21. It says, When they had taken counsel with the people, he appointed those who are about, who, who are to sing, in a point niya, when they marched down, and, and, and they sang this song, saying, give thanks to the Lord, for His steadfast love endures forever. I don't know how far, or how many steps, from Judah, to meet the vast armies, hindi ko lang kung kalayo yan, pero kung ito kinakanta nila, this is, sabi nila, pala, give thanks to the Lord, for His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for His love endures forever. They were repeating it, declaring it again and again and again and again. Give thanks to the Lord for His love endures forever. No matter what we are facing today, give thanks to the Lord. Verse 22, when they began, praise God, when they began, Simula pa lang, wala pa sa chorus, hindi pa bridge. When they began, 
to sing praises to, to, to the Lord. The Lord set an ambush against their enemies and they were all defeated. The greater the battle, the greater the encounter with God. Amen? The Lord moved on their behalf. Now, saan ba yung battlefield? Sabi, punta ka doon sa, uh, sa En Gedi, sa Pass of Ziz. Doon mo sila imit. A little trivia. You know that valley, the Pass of Ziz, is now called the Valley of Kidron. It's also called the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And in that valley, the valley of Kidron, that is where you also find, 100 years after, the Garden of Gethsemane. That is where Jesus prayed. It is at the foot of the Mount of Olives, where Calvary is. In that valley, they were praising God. Give thanks to the Lord for His love endures forever. You see, the greatest battle was won for us by the Lord Jesus Christ. Victory over all, the, uh, all our enemies, the greatest enemy of death and sin, Jesus has won it. For the battle of our souls, the redemption, our redemption, our forgiveness, our salvation, Jesus has won it. You don't have to fight this battle, for the battle is the Lord's. Amen. The battle is the Lord's. Give thanks to the Lord for His steadfast love endures forever. Charles Spurgeon said this, I have a great need for my Christ and I have a great Christ for my need. We have a great need for our Christ and we have a great Christ for our need. Our main point today our hope in Christ is greater than any great crisis that we face today. Our hope in Christ is greater than our great, any great crisis that we are facing today. Are you facing a great crisis? Then let's put our hope in the Lord. Let me pray for you. And later we will pray for the prayer requests that we have received. Just bow down your heads. Close your eyes. Father in heaven, do you know the journey that we are in? You know the battles that we are facing. You know, Lord, the concerns that are burdening our hearts. Father, even right now, in the name of Jesus, we declare, Lord, that we are powerless against this. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Father, in Jesus' name, upon every family, every brother, every sister, Lord, that's praying today. Lord, thank you for your word. We put our hope in you. We do not need to fight this battle. The battle belongs to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, O oh God. And Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise, Father. And now for those of you who have sent your prayer requests, we'd like to pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Join me as we pray. Father, thank you, Lord. Yung mga ng prayer request. Lord, we are praying for your favor para dun sa passport. Salamat, nabubuksan mo ang mga pinto. You will open doors, Lord. Thank you, God. Your name will be glorified as this request would reach you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, we are praying for those praying, uh, needing health and protection for the family. Father, you are our healer. You are our protection. You are our provider. Lord, we give you praise, Lord. We, we lift our eyes unto you. Lord, maraming salamat. Lord, touch your, your people right now, those who need healing. Even right now, Father, from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, Lord, touch and heal. Thank you, O God. Thank you, O God. And Lord, we are lifting up, Lord, uh, your, your, your people. Lord, we know that our prayers are heard. We know that our voices are not a stranger to you, but you are familiar with our cries. Lord, even before a word comes to our mouth, you know what's in our hearts. And Lord, we give you glory. Lord, right now, we put our trust in you for protection, Lord. And Lord, we pray for the joy of the Lord to be our strength. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. Lord, indeed, everything that we need, Lord, you will provide. And Lord, we give you praise. For you are our God. We are your people. And Lord, we worship you. We praise you. Thank you, Lord. 
we will continue to pray. Magpe-pray po tayo ngayon naman as a church community. Join kayo sa prayers natin. Ha? We will be praying for the governments. We will be praying for the healthcare system. We will be praying for our economy, schools, universities, and family. But we'll worship first and then sabay-sabay tayong mananalangin. Amen? Praise God. God bless you. And together at the church family, let us pray and seek the Lord. I've done all.
we lift our eyes unto you, Lord God. Lord, in this battle, Lord God, we are powerless to do anything. Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Lord, as we lift up the government, as we lift up, Lord God, this prayer concerns our health care system, Lord. As we lift up, Lord God, the universities and what's going on, Lord, right now, sa, sa economy namin, Panginoon, even in the families. But, Father, Lord, we know that you are moving on our behalf. We know, Lord God, that you are a covenant-making, covenant-keeping God. And Lord, you are God who answers prayers. You said, ask and we shall receive, seek and we shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto us. Lord, this is the cry of your people. You are our God, we are your sons and daughters, and we look up to you. Who do we have in heaven but you? So Father, thank you that right now you are moving in the land. You are moving and you are touching this land, and you are healing. And Lord, you, you are moving in such a way that it would continue to give glory and honor to your name. Lord, we lift our eyes to you, Lord. Lord, glorify your name upon this land. Lord, dinidiklara po namin sa nangyayari sa aming paligiran dito sa bayan na ito. Patuloy namin dinidiklara, Panginoon, na pinagpala ang bayan na ang Diyos ay ang Panginoon. The Philippines belong to you, Lord. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao belong to you, Lord. Glorify your name, O God, for you are God who saves, you are God who provides, you are God who heals, you are God who moves in our behalf. Mighty is our God, mighty is our Lord, worthy of all praises. Father, we give you praise, we declare, we give thanks unto you, for your love endures forever. Oh, we give thanks unto you, Lord, for your love endures forever. And Lord, we worship you. We bless you. We bring back to you all the glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Sige po. Let's give God the glory. I want to pray uh, uh, just a short prayer for a specific group of people. If in case you are here and you heard the message and you have not yet um, um, experienced a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, I'd like to pray for you. If you are this if you are, if this if you are this person this is a prayer to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. God loves you. He made a way for us. He fights our battles for us. Let's submit our hearts unto the Lord. Samahan mo ako sa maikling panalangin. Panginoon, kilala mo ako higit pa sa pagkakilala ko sa aking sarili. Panginoon, ako po ay makasalanan at kailangan ko ng tagapagligtas. Sa iyo ako naniniwala, Panginoon, dahil ikaw ang kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng kasalanan ng sandibutan. Panginoon, dinideklara ko, Panginoon, my need for you. Lord, I confess with my mouth, Jesus is Lord. I believe in my heart that you are raised from the dead. Lord, even at this time, by faith, I receive the forgiveness of my sins and I receive eternal life that only you can give. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The battle is yours, God. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Great is our God. Great is the Lord God Almighty. Worthy of praise. Worthy of praise. Allow me to bless you, to declare a, a prayer, a pastoral blessing, a benediction. Just lift up your hands before the Lord, people of God. Lord, thank you that in you we have the victory. In you we have hope. Christ, Jesus, you are our hope. So, Lord, we give you glory for the victory, even the victory that's still on its way. We give you thanks. We give you praise. Lord, bless your people right now. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine down upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn toward you and grant you peace. Let the love of God, the Father, the, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for joining our worship service, our online worship service. And Lord, uh, just continue to have a, a hopeful week ahead, hopeful days ahead. Our hope is in Christ. God bless you guys. Thank you for joining us in our online worship experience. Just a few reminders before we leave. If you want to know how you can grow in your relationship with God, we encourage you to join one of our Victor groups. This is a place where ordinary people meet together to know our extraordinary God. Just go to the link that's bit.ly slash victoryldconnect.
And if there are things you're asking God for, we want to join you and believe with you in what you're praying for. Go and head to this link. That's bit.ly slash victory LP prayer. And finally, if you want to give in our ministry and honor God through your generosity, you can go to bit.ly slash victory LP give. And you can also give here on site in our center, Victory Las Piñas. On site giving will be open every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. or to 2 p.m. With that, we hope to see you again next week in our online worship experience. Until then, let's continue to honor God and make disciples.